Hey y'all, so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get the slick high puff on 4C natural hair. Okay, so first things first, we're going to take out our hair. It was already in a bun. Um, as y'all can see, I'm over there struggling. It won't come out. It's tangled. Y'all, y'all already know the struggles for 4C hair. And when I finally take it out, ooh, woo, child, the best itch of my life. <laughs> y'all can see the relief on my face. And y'all just gonna have to give me a little second to itch this. All right, now we're going with the Eco Styler Gel. You can get that at your local beauty supply store. I got mine for probably like $3.99. Um, and we're gonna take the double-sided brush. I accidentally used the soft side, but we're gonna be using the hard side for this part. So also make sure your hair is wet, damp a little bit, just so it could lay more flatter. Um yeah there's me looking confused but y'all can see it's kind of hold on now it's kind of it's kind of slicking a little clearly i need more water i hope i get the water um so yeah we're just putting generous and i'm telling you generous amounts like y'all know when something is cheap and you just you know go through it like candy yeah that's what we're doing with the ego so now it's just a game of just Put Eco Styler, brush up. Put Eco Styler, brush up. And make sure you get the back. Make sure you get the peas on the side, the front. The front has to stay slick too. Make sure you get the front and the side. And oh my lord have mercy. Look how slick that is. Yeah, look at me feeling myself because who said the 4C girlies can't slick their hair? Come in close, come in close. Now we are using the Eben Wonder Lace Bond Spray. All right, now, technically, you're not supposed to use this. Well, I don't know. I'm using it on my hair. I used to use this when I wore wigs, but, you know, I feel like it's giving me an extra hold, and you know I'm a 4C girly, so I need that extra hold. So, you know, use it if you want, and yes, apply more ego, apply more ego, apply more ego, and do what you got to do, ladies. We got to do what we got to do. We apply more. Oh, what's that? What's that? anyway apply more brush more apply more brush more it's a process ladies it's a process now i got my scrunchies a wide tooth comb it's kind of like double-sided or whatever and this as i am black castor oil spray that i'm using for the ends of my hair and then i'm just gonna take that wide side of the comb and just you know detangle detangle the ends you know we want that big puff we want the puff to be puffing so we're going to keep raking, raking, raking through those ends, making sure they're nice and detangled. And look, y'all, I'm happy. I'm happy because I know the outcome is going to be fire. So you keep raking through, raking through. And then now I'm going to get my scrunchie. And look, it doesn't look slick. Look at the magic. Boom. Slick. Slick, slick, slick. That 4C hair will trick you. I'm telling you. But look at that. So now we're just making sure, you know, we're kind of molding it with our hands. Look at me. You know, you got to get that bun on fleek. Like, that bun got to be so snatched that it gives you a natural facelift. You know what I mean? And now, oh, my arms are getting tired. <laughs> and you just got to, you know, keep molding it to however you like it. And yes, I got a big head. So what? Rihanna does too when she had that he just like me. Okay, so yeah, I found the perfect spot and now I'm just like twisting around my scrunchie and placing it around. Ooh, child, I'm tired. Oh, let's start over. <laughs> we found the perfect spot to sit that big old puff on this big old head. We're raking through, raking through, and we're going to put more gel just so it could be, you know, real slick. I want it to be snatched. So we're taking that hard side of the brush and combing through. And look at that, y'all. Look at that. Wow, I even got little waves. Y'all see that? Yup, yup. Break through. Make sure you get the front. Because afterwards, we're going to lay them edges. But we're going to take the rat tail part of that edge brush and mold, mold, mold the bun. Right, 
is. So now you are going to take any head scarf um, that you have and wrap it around the front and back of your head. Clearly this one doesn't fit like my whole entire head all around. So I will be taking another wrap. Um, in this case, it's my flag that's attached to my shorts from a party I went to the other day. But yeah, we gotta use what we have. So yeah, yeah, represent IT, IT. You already know, Haitian baby Z girl. Okay, so we're gonna take that. We're gonna wrap it in the back to make sure it's nice and flat. All right, now we're gonna put on our bonnet and leave everything off for like 15, 20 minutes. It might not be fully dry, but you know, good enough. We got things to do. My head's so big. We gonna have to fix that edge booster. I just this edge booster is not as strong. It's so weird. It's not like I feel like I've used stronger edge booster. That one seems just a bit watery to me. All right, so now we're gonna do some cute edges. Right, so now we're gonna redo the whole process again um basically using the same head wraps that we used before we're gonna wrap our head again because we want those edges to stay nice and intact and flat for the rest of the day so just like in the beginning we're gonna take that comb we're gonna use the wide part of the comb to comb out those ends to detangle those ends because we want our puff to be huge we want it to have volume and shape so make sure you don't skip this process because you don't want your high puff looking all flat and uneven Right, this is how I came out. You know, you know. High puff, you can play around with the hair, like spread it out. All right, y'all, and there we have it a high puff on 4C natural hair. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure you check out my channel and tune in. Like, comment, and subscribe down below. Turn on post notifications so you know when new bangers and new videos are rolling in. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye!